Hey everybody, it's your boy Jimmy here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up everybody? Um, today I'm going to be showing you my current build of Cyber Dragon. Um, one of my favorite decks of all time, so let's just jump right into it. So for the main deck, I am playing, of course, the three Cyber Dragon. Three Cyber Dragon Core. Three Cyber Dragon Hers. And two Noster. Um, I feel like this is just the best package. I'm not a big fan of Veer. It's a nice body, sure, but uh, this is consistent and Veer is not. So that's why I don't really play Veer as much. Um, then we have the Honorary Cyber Dragon Galaxy Soldier at 3. Um, you can play this at 2, but I like to play it at 3, uh, just in case you um, have to banish one off of your Pot of Desires. Uh, the 2 Jizakiro, uh, best kaiju for this deck. Uh, you can use this as your fortress, one of your fortress targets. Um, really nice to go into, especially with you uh, having core. And then for the hand trap, we're playing Ash Blossom at two. You could play this at three, but currently I'm playing it at two. That's it for monsters. Um, for spells, we are playing, of course, three Cyber Emergency, three Cyber Repair Plant. Uh, these are the best searches in the deck. This searches any Cyber Dragon card in the deck. This searches any Light Machine, so this can get you your Galaxy Soldier or your Jizakuru if you really need it. Um, these are fantastic searchers. Then we have our one Cyber Load Fusion and our one Cyber Rev System. This is just Monster Reborn for Cyber Dragon, or it can even summon it from your hand as well. And this is just a nice little quick play um, fusion card for the deck. Uh, it's not as great because it requires you to um, have them on your field or banished, uh, not from your hand. So it's kind of hard to use, but um, it's still good. It's nice quick play. Um, comes up situationally. And then my favorite uh, fusion card of all time, two power bond. I still play the two power bond because um, summoning, say, a Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon and just poking your opponent three times for over 4k each, that's just insane. It's so fun to just blow your opponent out of the water with uh, out of nowhere. Uh, we're playing one overload fusion because this can get you uh, into all your Chimera Tech stuff from the graveyard. Um, and then we're just playing one instant fusion. Uh, this just helps you get uh, into your infinity easier with your level fives. Um, pretty pretty uh, standard in the Cyber Dragon deck. Uh, two machine dupe because um, the core and the veer both under uh, 500 attack uh, machine type monsters, and because they're when they're on the field, they're always considered Cyber Dragon. You can then just summon regular Cyber Dragons out of the deck with these, so this is just an insane um, two card combo with one of those uh, to get into an infinity. Uh, we're playing two Pot of Desires. Uh, I like this one because uh, it's literally just Pot of Greed. 90% uh, of the deck you don't really care about. Um, all you care about is getting enough combo pieces to get into your extra deck. Um, so banishing 10 off the top of your deck isn't that big of a deal most of the time. Playing one Monster Reborn because it's actually Monster Reborn. Plus you can steal something out of your opponent's graveyard if you're having any uh, trouble with something they have. Um, kind of nice to have. And then for blowout cards for spells, we're playing the two Lightning Storm and the one Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, Lightning Storm is nice. You could play this at three, uh, but the problem is if you have any cards in hand, this is a dead card. Um, so I like to play the one Harpy's Feather Duster just because this is always active. Um, then for the traps, we're playing, of course, the two Imperm. Uh, this is a nice negator. Everyone knows what Imperm does. And that's the main deck. On to the extra deck. We are playing, of course, the Infinity Package of two Nova and then the Infinity itself. Uh, pretty straightforward. We can go into this with any two level 5 machine monsters. Um, if you have Cyber Dragons in the grave, you can then dump it, get your Cyber Dragon back onto the field with this, and then go into Infinity. Then you have a Cyber Dragon and an Infinity on the field, so you can use your Cyber Dragon for other things like going into a fortress or going into a Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon if you have the materials for it. Um, really, really good package. Uh, then we have our 
Constellar Pallades. Uh, this is nice to just get rid of stuff on the field. Uh, returns it to the hand, doesn't send stuff to the graveyard. If it's an extra deck monster, it'll return it to the extra deck. Yeah, they'll have access to it again, but uh, they've already wasted the resources to get it onto the field in the first place, so this can set them back quite a bit. Um, and then we are just playing the one uh, Zeus, uh, because if you know something is coming, and your infinity won't be able to protect you. You can just attack with your infinity in the battle phase. Um, just go straight into Zeus, and then you just have a blow card on their turn. Um, for Lynx, we're playing one Seeger. Uh, this is just nice. It's a Link to go into any two uh, Cyber Dragons, and then just get this on the field. And then anything with 2100 attack, you can just double their attack for the turn. Yeah, of course, you don't uh, deal any damage doing this, but still nice to have a uh, nice quick effect during the battle phase um bull sword dragon is our second link here um this is just this is a game ender if you can get it on the board most of the time you won't go for this but if you have the opportunity to go for this say you've gone through all your other resources to get uh in like your main stuff like your chimera tech rampage dragon your uh infinity you can't summon either of those but you can somehow summon this um this is a nice card that can still win you a game and then for uh, fusions, we're playing two Rampage Dragon. Um, sometimes I like to, um, if one gets negated, you can just, and you have the resources still, you can go into a second one, or you can even use this as an instant fusion target as it's a level five. Um, probably actually one of the best fusion monsters uh, for Cyber Dragons in general. I think it's actually maybe the best one, especially under Power Bond. Uh, we're playing two Fortress Dragon, because this can steal any machines on the field, so you can just secure over their stuff, play any Cyber Dragon, and then just, you basically wipe their board and have a 2k attacker on the field. Really nice. Playing one Mega Fleet, uh, same thing, except this is uh, for extra monster zones, so they can link off into something big. You just summon a single core, take their uh, extra monster, and you have a big attacker for 2400, sorry. Um, and you've wiped out one of their big link monsters. Um, we have one Cyber End Dragon. Uh, this is really only in here uh, to go into if your Nova gets blown up on summon. You can. This uh, has a second effect where if it goes to the grave, you can summon a fusion monster. So this is just a. This just uh, immediately blows your opponent out. Um, it's not the greatest card of all time, but 4K beater with uh, piercing is is nice to just go into. Uh, and then. One of my favorite cards, uh, it's not the best card to play in this deck, but I love it. Um, it requires just two machine type monsters with the same name. All the Cyber Dragon cards, as long as they're on the field or graveyard, are all considered Cyber Dragons, so you can go into this with any two Cyber Dragons. Um, if you go into this with Power Bond, uh, you can attack your opponent directly for 3200, plus it's a level 5, so you can use it for your instant fusion target. Um, a very overlooked card. I, I think this is amazing in Cyber Dragon specifically. Um, it's also one of my randomly one of my favorite cards of all time. That is my Cyber Dragon deck profile. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for my next one.